Did we spicy. talk about Eminem's discography last time? I can't remember. I don't think we did. Because I'm looking through it right now, and I'm like... Go! I, you, I feel like we might be on the same wavelength with this. Okay. Is it not? Are you, is your point that it's not as good as people say that it is? It's definitely not. Your point. Infinite, Slim Shady LP. Infinite, I mean, you know, that's the rapidy rap. The really underground. Like, I liked that album when I was 15, and huh. now, now that I've grown up, I'm like, eh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Infinite, that's an album that's in that category. I feel differently about it now. I feel differently in general about the rapidy rap stuff, about some of it, because now I'm like, yes, I want you to be able to rap well, because bars over everything, you know how I do. But you got to be able to make songs. I agree. For me that's to where continue I am. to listen that's to you. Where I am. This has always been my issue with Crooked Eye talented as he is but i remember when slaughterhouse formed i was hyped because i was already a joel ortiz fan you know what i mean i was right. already a big joe buddy fan i was already a royce the five nine fan i wasn't so familiar with crooked eye and i quickly learned why didn't have much of a discography and then when he started putting out projects you know that that i guess changed a little bit but for the most part like yes i would say that the other three guys could make records especially joe budden and now royce the five nine, nine has gotten a lot yep. better with that too yep. Uh, and even Joel Ortiz's last yeah. couple oh, yeah. projects been, with uh, Apollo yeah. Brown yep. and his last solo project, but Crooked Eye wasn't that necessarily. He is the he can rap as good as any of those dudes, yeah. but doesn't know how to make songs. But I, which I will say, if this is where you're going, I do think has something to do with Eminem, and I've always felt that way. But go ahead, continue. Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem Show. Some people will say the first three major uh, best first three major releases ever some people will say that i disagree I strongly disagree but i do think that's a very strong first three albums is it in particularly the last two is yeah. it yeah yeah no it, what, what's the classic in there eminem show eminem show is a classic wow I, eminem show is a classic over marshall mathers lp that might be also i, I don't think i don't, I don't do think not, i don't think some shady is. i do not i agree but with some that. people will say all three is and no, no. I don't. I, I don't, think there's an argument that all three aren't. I don't know if I'm going to vehemently argue back, but Eminem also. The problem with Eminem is the problem with Beyonce, is the problem with Kanye West, and the problem with some of these other big artists is where they have these group of stands. Kobe Bryant has oh, this. Okay. Nicki Minaj has this. They this. have these group of stands that you can't tell them anything. You can't tell them any sort of constructive criticism because, like, yo, if you tell me that you thought. Um, Freddie Gibbs' last project was weak. Not Bandana, but just in general, a last project was weak. Right. I wouldn't. Di- I wouldn't be like, yo, you know, whatever, really, whatever. Really? No, it depends on the project. No, like when you said you weren't that crazy about Freddie, I was like, yeah, I could uh, see that. I, I like it. Yeah, I didn't but like- it, you know, it was. I didn't like the. Sound I didn't of put it. it in my top albums. Yeah. You know but what now, I'm but, saying? But I, but was I'm not one. I'm, I'm not a hater. I just listen to music. Same and thing I judge with. It. Same thing and with I, Nas. But I love. I love Bandana. Yeah. It's like there's so, there's a level at which there's a level at which you could defend the people you like, but you know you so gotta, it, and then after that it's where it falls off a cliff in the Eminem. Well, see, it's funny because I actually think one of Eminem's better albums is actually in the latter part of his discography, which is Recovery. I think that's a very underrated. Album. I can't stand Recovery. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, because I, I think you know what that's a popular hip hop opinion. I think that's one of the most overrated albums this decade. I don't think it's highly rated I enough. Think, I think no. I, I you know why? Here's why. I so now we got one. I, I told actually, you I was going to come up with some. I stuff actually when feel. We started recording. I actually feel like <laughs> that album has some of Eminem's best song making because that's what Eminem's the artist I think that actually lasts gonna, in that. People love the rap stuff. This track list is whack. Recovery? Yes. Yo, you out I'm here looking out at of it now. Mind. Cold Wind Blows. Good song. Oh, God. And I like Just Blaze too, but I just don't care for the hook and then talking to myself with Kobe Bryant. Didn't care for that. <laughs> it's not Kobe Bryant. I know, but Kobe, right. Uh, on Fire. Uh, won't Back Down. Very overplayed. White Trash Party. That song is awful. How here's the thing I think about this album. I think for you, I think this album has too much of a light sound for your life. You don't think I like light? Me- Yo, nah, come on! You don't. It's not aggressive enough. Which is no, going to go, no. Which is going no, to go. Not- which is going to go into my first unpopular opinion. That's I like the there's there is like light music. I'm a big Alessia Cara fan. How are you going to do this to me? Do you like Love the Way You Lie? You hated that song. Oh uh, no, that song was okay. I just got tired of it because you know why I don't like that song. Actually, now that I think about it, I knew you didn't like it. What a shot! I like Rihanna on it. The problem is Eminem, and just the he's rapping way too aggressively on that. And the flow that was when he was doing the annoying flow, the forever flow on every single beat. Forever works on forever, but then he was doing that all the time everywhere else. I like this. This album is going through changes. Not afraid. 
Cinderella oh, Not Man. Afraid is another one I got very tired of. But I don't, oh, it's a really I don't, good song, I don't hate though. the song, though. It's a really good song. I don't hate the song. It's kind of um, cheesy. Not but, Afraid. Know. No, I like it. Love the way you lie. You're never over. No Love with Lil Wayne I like. Yeah. The, 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 there's a, the, Space Bound Cinderella Man, 25 to Life. Ugh, so Cinderella bad. Man is good, man. What are you talking about? So so bad. No, no, no. I was going, ugh, because 25. Uh, it's just so bad, I mean. Okay. um, Because that's not a great Dr. Dre uh, touch beat, up there. T- beat, no. Uh, almost famous. Love the way you lie. You're never over. You're never like, over. Man, like. just, nah, man. The album's a little too long. It's like a five out of ten to me at best. The album's. I'll give a little bit more than that. The album's a little too long. I think the problem is, but I there are some songs where I felt like he actually had some good subject matter, and because that matters to me too when I'm looking at albums. That matters to older. me too, but so subject does execution. Matter, subject matter, good structure to songs. It was, a, it was probably some of the better I'd seen from Eminem. Because sometimes Eminem songs are all over the place. And that's why I don't hold the Eminem show and Marshall Mathers and the Slim Shady LP as high as some other people do. I think Marshall Mathers is good, another album that's a little too long. I, that's kind of in my tier of overrated classics, which is something I'll get to a little bit later. There are overrated classics, and I think that's – that doesn't mean I understand the impact of the album and I, I have no problem with somebody calling the Marshall Mathers LP a classic – but I think it's a little bit overrated. I don't want to spend too much time on some of the other albums, so I'm not going to pull up the discography. But we could agree that Relapse is not. Honest, no. no. Now, I would say this. Relapse is an album that I kind of liked when it came out when I was 15. I did it. And then quickly. Maybe I wasn't 15. Quick, <laughs> but, like, not 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 the whole, not the overall album, but let me, let, me, let, me, let me just find that track list. There's nothing on the album I would want to go back and listen to. There's nothing. nothing on the album that I have gone back and listened to. There you go. I will say that much. There's nothing I'd want to go back and listen to. At the time, there were the, now there were songs that I found kind of funny, like "Taking My Ball" because it was just kind of ridiculous. I don't even think that was on the Ooh, album. I think that was an extra. That would be an absolute skip. That beat is hilarious. <laughs> I do like that beat though for some weird reason. I, I, I I'm doing looking at this right now. 3 a.m. My mom insane bagpipes from back. <laughs> This album could have been really nah. offensive to a lot of people. I'm, um, a, a, I'm actually going to say, yo, I... We made you. Shout out to Lisa Ann. There is nothing. I, I got that. <laughs> there is nothing. Yeah, there's nothing on here I want to listen to. Nothing. Beautiful was okay. I thought that was probably the best song on there. But even so, it was like kind of... Like when Eminem sings too hard, I just, I just, you know, I'm just, eh. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... But then when you go, when you go after... Here's the thing. Now when you go after Marshall Mathers LP, right? You have Encore, which is that's what normally gets panned by a lot of people. Um That had some decent songs on it though. Relapse, Recovery, Marshall Mathers LP two, which you did not like. No. I think that's the one with no. Rap got on it. Yeah, no, I did not like that album. Revival, oh boy. Whew. And then Kamikaze. Whew, boy. They're like it, listen. I don't want to hear people talk about Nostradamus if we're not going to talk about Eminem's discography. Because I could argue easily that he has three albums worse than Nostradamus. Yo, that's a really good question for this topic. And, and if we're talking about all-time discographies, for, that matters because those are two for, dudes that are usually uh, out there. For, first of all, let's go for the record and say this. Nas's discography is way better than Eminem. It's not even close. It's probably the best ever. It's not. It's but arguable. It's close. But yeah, arguable. Oh, yeah, it's up there. No, 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 no. But that's what I'm saying. It's usually people are gonna say is, nah. is, people. I would think I would think most hip hop fans yeah, would go okay. Nas, Jay Z, Con- in whatever order, order. Nas, Jay Z, Kanye, and I. Some people are putting Lil Wayne up there too now, which is interesting. Mm, no, I put Kendrick before that. Before that dude, I, right now. Kendrick is probably after Nas, Jay Z, um, and he might be. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know Big only got two albums. On but slugging th- percentage, you could argue Kendrick is number one. <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah, I'm, let and me Jay just, Cole's up there too. Yeah, um, he's up there now. What I'm going to say is Eminem. Eminem, is Relapse worse than Nostradamus? Probably. Probably. But see, you know what? It's definitely more offensive. If I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, what I'm saying is Nostradamus hurt me more. (laughs) It hurt my soul because I am a Nas fan. Like, I remember. See, I experienced that album differently because it came out when I was five. Yeah. And I kind of went back to it a little bit. That's different for you. I was listening to that album as a 16 year old, hoping for the best. And, you know, (laughs) understanding that I am was eh. And then here, you know, was okay. I am is underrated, man. I am the underrated. Album, I think it's right? rated fairly where it is. No, I think I, I don't think, think it's great. I don't think it's bad. I don't I even it's, think it's one of Nas's best projects, but I think it's a solid project. I it's think solid. Th- there's I, definitely it's some... solid. It's too many tracks. It needs to be cut down. But one, it's... one to ten, what are you giving it? Seven. Okay, I would have gone eight. 
Yeah, I'll give it a seven. Okay, so we don't, um, we don't vehemently. There's songs right. that are really good. There's some songs that are really bad. He has, he has three With, of his. He has probably three of his best songs on song that album. That, but I think that's what, what we're going is personal feeling. Relapse well, music be, is entirely relapse. Subjective. Relapse is worse than Nostradamus. I would agree with that. I think that just Nostradamus hurts me more <laughs> because I'm a Nas fan. Like when I heard it, I was like, Nas, why did you do this? Um, hmm. Revival is worse than Nostradamus. I, I I would happen to agree with that. Walk on water. Oh my god. You need to hear Joe Button talk about Walk on Water. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. I heard him talk about it. So, oh, all right, man. so so what's your your unpopular hip hop opinion on Eminem is what? Uh, that his discography is just generally rated way too highly, and that I think Recovery is one of the most overrated albums of the of this decade. I don't think Recovery is highly rated. I think, I think it is. No, I think it is. I think it's, I think it was. I, I mean, Reco- but Recovery is better than Relapse. It is better than Revival. It is better than those albums, and it's not even close. It's much better than I guess. those albums. I mean, I guess. I think it's. I think. I think it's. They're they're not terribly apart. It's better than Marshall Mathers LP two. It's t- better than no, see, but this is what I'm saying. Like all those albums is not terrible. Nas, y- for, well, your your point is that the bar isn't high. For all the show. criticism that Nas gets, and even Jay Z gets, let me defend Jay Z a little bit because people don't think that I defend him enough for whatever reason. But even when you're looking at discographies, they don't have a string of that many misses together. That if you're going with well, Eminem. I- if you're not if you're not including recovery because you think recovery is good, yeah, right? but there's a whole bunch of misses around that. But then that. after, but then before that is relapse, and after that is Marshall Mathers LP two, revival and Kamikaze. Let me say this: I should have prefaced all this by saying Eminem could arguably out rap, out rap anybody ever, right? We're talking about just straight yeah, but rapping. We're, but, we're, but now we're talking about making albums. But this is this is why we had the discussion we had earlier. Right. And when we're talking about just albums, it's just it's just. In terms of rapping ability, half of it's good, Eminem, half of it's not. Yeah, the discography. In, ter- in terms of Eminem's ability, rapping ability, Eminem's probably one of the best I've ever heard in terms of rapping ability. Yeah. In terms of executing and making good albums, I, that's that's to me why he's not in my top five, and probably this is gonna hurt some people. Not in my top ten because when I'm judging rappers, it's about not just how you rap, but your ability to make albums, make songs you, that people connect with, and a lot of stuff with Eminem too. I think that's the part for me. I just didn't connect with a lot of the stuff that he was saying with. Like, I'm not really trying to tie my girlfriend up in the trunk and all that <laughs> stuff. So that just never really connected with me. Doesn't mean I don't think he can rap. It just, that's not my thing. Like, top 10 rapper, not top 10 artist. That's it. I'm fine with that.